So now in this scene, our conscious adult choking has gone unconscious. We've lowered the patient down to the floor carefully using good ergonomics ourselves, protecting the patient's head and protecting them from trauma from them crashing to the floor. If we've not already called 911 or called the code, now is the time to do so. Once they're on the floor, we go straight into our chest compressions. You may notice that we have um, actually put on gloves because I know I'm gonna be trying to pull an object out of the mouth if I've actually gotten one up and into the mouth. So it's good time to put your gloves on if you haven't already and have a CPR shield available and ready to use with a one-way valve. Keep in note here that when we do these chest thrusts or chest compressions, we're gonna be going to a depth of two to 2.4 inches deep and we're gonna do it at a rate between 100 and 120 times per minute. We're gonna give our first 30 chest compressions. Elbows locked, leaning over the victim's chest, using our upper body weight to do the chest compression. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. After my 30 chest compressions, I head tilt chin lift, I open up the mouth. I look in the oral cavity to see if I've, if I've gotten anything up out of the airway. I don't see anything, so I'm not gonna do a blind finger sweep. I cover their nose and mouth with my CPR shield and I attempt to rescue breath. I try the breath, nothing goes in, no chest rise and fall. I reposition their head and neck and try again. No breath goes in, no chest rise and fall. So I continue with another 30 compressions at the same depth, at the same rate. After these 30 compressions, I go back, I look in the mouth, but this time I see something. So I reach in, I pull the object out, and I attempt a rescue breath. Let's see if we're successful. First breath goes in. Second breath goes in. If the patient is not breathing normally at this point, not responsive, I go straight into my next 30 compressions. If the patient remains unresponsive, not breathing normally, I'm gonna do 30 compressions followed by two rescue breaths, and I'm gonna keep doing this 30 compressions to two rescue breaths until EMS arrives, help arrives, and AED arrives, or the victim becomes responsive and begins breathing normally on their own.